This microphone is a special one. This is going to be, in spite of the huge affordable microphone market that is filled with fierce competition, but Mono, as usual, managed to excel in this department for the $60 that this microphone is worth. So introducing the Mono DM30, it's well worth the cost and effort, and I'll be here to show you why and how. So let's dive right in. And this video is sponsored by Zens Labs, the makers of what is now my new favorite drawing tablet. I mean seriously, what they offer here is quite ridiculous and it dumbfounds me how this is pretty much the only brand doing this right now. So in the box for this tablet, you do get the tablet itself with the necessary cable and you get a case that includes two styli, the Bluetooth receivers for wireless use of the tablet and some extra pen tips. You also get this protective bag where you can fit all of your accessories and the inside is made of this beautiful and very soft material that will keep your gear protected. You can also get this quick keys accessory that allows for shortcuts as you desire and these are fully remappable. These even display what the shortcuts mean on the screen which is incredible. But most importantly the performance is incredible and I hereby declare this to be the best starting kit for any student or animation enthusiast. You simply can't top this regardless of which other kit like this one you mention. So if you are interested in art at all and you want to give it a try, then click on my link and then you will set yourself up for greatness from there. This is the most comfortable set that I have ever used and especially because of the stylus itself since it even has an eraser tip, which you will only find on some of the highest end drawing displays. And this is actually really incredible and useful to have with a device like this one. And not to mention that the surface is going to be incredibly smooth and just very nice to draw. On. I absolutely love it. So get yourself the best starting kit out on the market. This is going to be the Zens Lab Pen Tablet and the Zens Lab Quick Keys. So get yours today and start creating amazing artwork. Links down below and thanks to Zens Lab for sponsoring this video. The exterior design consists of metal for the entirety of the build. I got this microphone in white, but there are four colors to choose from, and I happen to think that it looks really nice in this color. It's a very small microphone that will look pretty stealthy in your setup. The stand and shock mounts are going to be pretty good here too, with good tilts and close to 360 degree control, but not quite. Still, I really like the design of this microphone. On the front, you're going to find a mic and headphone controls with a knob that presses in for muting the microphone. On the bottom, you're going to find a USB-C port, a headphone jack, and a lighting port or toggle I should say, for switching between the different LED colors. It's going to be a very simple design, yet very effective and very nice overall. I genuinely like what they did here. Now, as for the lights, you've actually got a pretty good selection here, and they are here just for the aesthetics. You get many basic colors actually to choose from, like blue, green, red, and that kind of thing, but you do have some other ones like orange and and I can go on and on, of course, but they do also have this rainbow RGB effect on it that I prefer, especially with this color, so I tend to keep this one on instead for the most part. This is a cardioid condenser microphone with a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and is addressed from the very front just like this. Now this microphone does have a windscreen built right into it, so it should be pretty good at handling plosives and we will see about that very soon. So this is going to be the official sound test per se, even though I have been doing this entire review with this microphone, so you've been hearing exactly what it sounds like. And in a lot of aspects, this is a pretty good microphone, but I don't believe that it sounds like a condenser microphone, since it lacks in the clarity and openness of condenser microphones. It sounds like a dynamic microphone that's being processed after the fact, so it is going to have more of a broadcast sound to it. It just sounds more compressed than I'm used to hearing, but similarly, it does do a very good job at sound rejection and isolation, which is what I believe they were trying to go for here. This microphone does sound pretty good, but it's not my preference when it comes to the audio and I do think that this microphone could have been tuned in such a way where we get to hear less of the mids and maybe more of the highs to open up the microphone's audio in a sense. Don't get me wrong, I do like how this microphone sounds, but it does kind of sound like it is a bit poorly tuned. 
but for the sake of sound rejection, this microphone does do a really good job, and the sound is more than passable. I just wouldn't use it for voiceover work or anything that requires precise audio. But if you're a streamer, a YouTuber, or just need a decent microphone for Discord calls or Zoom calls, then this is a great choice for just that. Now this right here is going to be the sound rejection test, uh, so I'm going to stop talking so that you can hear my surroundings. Now this right here is going to be the plosives test. I'm just going to say a bunch of words that begin with the letter P so that you can hear what it sounds like. And I'm going to do it like this as I've been recording it, but I'm also going to directly face the microphone too and probably get closer so that we can see how tolerant it is towards that. Pickles, Pop-Tarts, Peanuts, Petroleum, Pure, Pickles, Petroleum, pineapples, pears, pizza, pasta, and so much more to pick from. Pasta, now facing the microphone like a pizza, a slice of pizza, pasta, pear, and so much more that starts at the letter P. Peanuts, pineapple, pixel, power, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 5, and so much more. And now this word here is going to be the proximity effect test. Uh, so this is what this microphone sounds like from about, I want to say maybe close to one foot away, not quite, maybe more so like eight inches away from, from my face. Uh, now this is what it sounds like, maybe like a whole foot away from my face. So this is maybe the kind of sound that you should expect from there. This is what it sounds like three feet away. Uh, so this is what you should expect in terms of the overall audio if you're going to be speaking into it from pretty far away. And now this is what it sounds like from, I want to say maybe five feet away. So this is what you should expect if you're speaking into this microphone from five feet away or if there's any kind of sounds or noise going on from five feet away. Now the monitoring test using Mono's own headphones actually was pretty accurate. You do get a more condensed sound with very little outside noise getting through, and that's exactly what you will get in the final recording. There isn't really too much to say beyond that, since that pretty much sums up the entire experience. So in conclusion, this microphone is pretty good for 60 bucks, though I've seen it for around $50 as well. And for those prices, you're definitely getting a really good value. It's a pretty decent microphone that looks great and sounds pretty okay. I can't rag on it too much because of the price, and I do genuinely think that it is more that well it more than just gets the job done i I would say so yeah, strongly recommended if you're looking for a microphone at around this price point. So thank you so much for watching this video all the way up until the very end. It is always very much appreciated. Uh, if you are interested in getting this microphone, please use the affiliate link that is going to be down below. It's going to lead straight to Amazon. If you were to use my link, then this will definitely help the channel quite a bit because it does help in helping us get more, more review units just like this. So we would very much appreciate that. I would very much appreciate that. And also please make sure to follow me on Instagram where I do post every now and then. And you should also find me on my vlogging channel, which should be linked down below, I would hope. But with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy.